So I filmed the intro for this video, but it was about four in the morning, so the video came out pretty dark. I've left it in there. It's got a bit of me talking, but um, I haven't done any fishing videos in a while, but I've been really busy at work and haven't had time to get out on the jet ski. And I've just come back from a 10 day trip to Thailand, which was awesome. But um, yeah, we're back into the fishing now and my local club has a three day fishing competition on called the County's Classic and there's always some really good prizes on offer and I usually fish this competition with my mum in her boat but I've taken the jet ski along this time just in case so we've got another option there if we ever need it but yeah here's the video all right good morning guys um been a while since I've done any fishing I've been busy as hell at work and been in Thailand for 10 days so we're finally back on the rod now but um something a little bit different this time I've got the jet ski on tow out the back but um we're fishing the county's classic fishing comp that's my local fishing club they put on a big competition for three days each year and um, some pretty good prizes up for grabs so we usually fare pretty well but um yeah i must admit i'm a bit unprepared this time i just normally have everything prepared and have a game plan ready to go but this time i'm sort of winging it fishing with mum and her boat but i've got the jet ski on the back just in case pretty good for specialized fishing if you ever need to get out there if the bar's a bit rough or so if the bar's a bit rough or something but um yeah we'll take it along just in case and apart from that we'll just get out on the Manukau harbor and i think the wind's supposed to be low the swell's up over two meters today so we won't be going out over the coast but um there's some still some good fishing in the harbor to be had so we'll go and check that out and see what we can make of the day you want to be on video So I've just put the boat in at Titoro. The sun's just coming up in the distance. The harbour's looking pretty flat at the moment. We've got mum on board. <laughs> she hasn't been in a video before, so she's shy. So I think we'll head out on the harbour and go and try find some live baits and then maybe head out to the entrance and see if we can catch a kingfish. fishing um, we've got about seven or eight live bait kawai just baby kawai so they should be good live baits and now we're heading up towards the entrance of the harbour and have a go at trolling them for kingfish on the last of the outgoing tide so we've got our live baits in the water and we just drifting up the current towards the mouth of the harbour and just slowly going in and out of gear just so we don't troll the low live baits too fast and kill them and we actually opened the live bait tank when we got here and all but one of the car wire were floating upside down at the bottom so that wasn't good we managed to revive about five of them so that should do us for today anyway which was lucky but yeah we'll just keep going up the coast and see how we get on so we've just got back to the boat ramp it's um 2 30 in the afternoon now had no luck on the kingfish stopped for a snap of fish in the pepper channel and we only caught sort of barely legal fish so that was no good and um we made the call to come back to the boat ramp and i think what we will do is we'll go and get the jet ski, go down the river and have a go at soft baiting for Trevally. And uh, if we get something in time we can probably make it back here for the weigh-in by 6.30 and if we don't then it's no stress because tonight's an away day so you can actually stay out all night and fish and just weigh your fish tomorrow but ideally we'll get fish weighed today as well so then we can be in for the prizes but yeah so we'll go home and get the jet ski and get down on the river yeah i'm not sure how it's going to go soft baiting down there with 
two of us on the jet ski because Trevelli are notorious for um, going round and round the ski so if we both hook up at the same time we could both end up losing our fish but we'll worry about that once we get to it so we're out on the jet ski and we're down the river Got one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's going this way. Uh, open the chili and stick it in there if you want. I don't think yours will. Oh, he's going that way. Trevelli. Right, another trip for the bin. It's not as big as I hoped, he was fell hooked under the chin. Now I have to retie mum's rig because she got it snagged and lost it. <laughs> and then we'll keep fishing but we'll have to head back soon I'd say. But just keep us at this speed. So I can... It actually feels quite stable moving around. I might put your soft bait back on for you too. Yeah, I couldn't have done that on the old ski, that easy. We might have to leave after this one. Is he big? I don't know if he's that big. Round and round. Go. Yes. I think yours was bigger, wasn't he? Um, he opened the bin. So we finally got a couple of trebs. Um, 522 at the moment and weigh-in closes at 630 so we're gonna shoot back to the ramp and head off to weigh-in. I think mum's tree's bigger at the moment but um, my two aren't too bad one of them's pretty stocky but we'll see how he goes hopefully nobody else caught any today. Ski's back on the trailer and we're off to the weigh-in. So that's it guys, that was day one of the county's classic fishing competition. Um, we went to weigh-in and caught three trevs and my biggest was 1.81 kilos and mum's biggest was 1.92 kilos. They actually ended up winning us first and second place at prize giving that night so we got a few prizes from that which was awesome. Uh, Mum also weighed a kawai which was just over two kilos but that didn't make the prizes so yeah at this stage we were on top of the leaderboard for Trevelli first and second see how we get on tomorrow see whether we can defend our title.